G'day! Welcome to another Curriculum Burst. This time, let's look at a grade 12 problem. Here goes. Let x and y be two digit positive integers with mean 60. What is the maximum value of the ratio x over y? Okay, I just read the question, but I didn't really process what I was reading. Um, so the first step in problem solving is to actually really digest the question you just read, deal with the emotions that it brings up, and, you know, maybe just really get a sense of what you might be able to do with this. So here goes. Let's two, read the two sentences again. Let x and y be two two-digit positive num integers with mean 60. Sentence number one doesn't feel scary. I can handle that. I've got two numbers, x and y, with a mean of 60. I know what that means. Their average value is 60. Sentence one, fine. Sentence two, what is the maximum value of the ratio, so we need to examine, whoop, bad writing, the ratio x over y. And my emotional reaction to that is, whoa, it's like, where's that coming from? So, strategy, what strategy should we do here? I guess the thing to do is basically strategy number one, just flail, have a go at flailing, just try something and see what happens. Um, the question is just about a ratio x over y. Sentence one was fine, sentence two is the scary part. Well, I'll do something. I can do something with the very first part. Obviously that's telling me x plus y is 120. Okay, two digit numbers adding 120. And for the sake of doing something, let's look at this, this object, x over y. Well, to do something. It's got two variables, but I have an equation here, so I can bring this to one variable. So instead of writing x over y, maybe I'll write x over y. What is y? be 120 minus x. Okay. I don't know if that's helpful or not, but I've done something. Actually, you know what? This actually looks a little scary to me. I don't like complicated denominators. Uh, there's the way to do this again in a different way. Maybe instead of writing x over y by focusing on x, let's focus on the variable y. So x is actually 120 minus y all over y. Ooh. That one looks less scary to me. This is 120 over y minus 1. That doesn't look too bad. That was lucky. All right, that was flailing. That's the success of flailing. So what's the question? Find the maximum value of x over y. Find the maximum value of this quantity here. Well, this would be as big as it can be when y is as small as it can be. Aha, now I feel like this question is falling into place. So think about this. What could y be? What's the smallest possible what value for y? And how will that then solve this problem for you? So think about it, give it a try, and check your answer with the essay that goes with this video. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.